For Michael's children, that's meant no more disguises. Did you worry at all that, that, that when they made public appearances they were wearing masks or Well, I something? didn't like that part of it. That's why when um, Michael passed, I never put him on him. Conrad Robert Murray, guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Catherine Jackson has taken control of her son's affairs. She's still coming to terms with his death. Dr. Murray became involved in a cycle of horrible medicine. And the doctor jailed after giving Michael a lethal dose of the powerful anaesthetic propofol. I wanted to know how you felt about Conrad Murray, the, the, the man who is in jail. I don't, I don't hate anybody, but um, I can't comment on that. Catherine Jackson is choosing her words carefully. This is the final curtain call. Because she's taken out a $40 billion lawsuit against AEG, the entertainment company behind her son's comeback concert, This Is It. This is it. And while she'll only speak very generally, she believes AEG hired Dr. Murray therefore must take some responsibility for Michael's death. I love you all. We're family. Just know that. We're a family. People are so greedy. People are stealing. And people are taking things from under you, that things that rightfully should be yours. And they're, you know, it, all that happens when people die, especially if a person, um, they think they got a lot of money. Michael Jackson's death came after years of using painkillers. Drugs Catherine Jackson says he was dependent upon, but not addicted to. He was in pain and he did need painkillers, but everybody took it out of uh, context. Am I right in believing that Michael's life began to change from the moment he was severely burned doing the Pepsi commercial? Yes. In 1983, while making the commercial using fireworks, Michael Jackson's hair went up in flames. Did he talk to you about the effect that had upon him? Yes, because um, it burned him so badly, he, his hair wouldn't grow back in the top of his head. And he didn't like that part of it. So that's when he had to start wearing wigs? Yes. But it would be Michael Jackson's changing face that would attract the most attention. Did you feel your son overindulged in plastic surgery? <laughs> did he, did... People might say he had overindulged in plastic surgery, but they don't know what went on before. Michael had a disease also, and um, the color of his skin was changing, vitiligo. Were you worried he was having too much, though, facial reconstruction? I don't know why people said he had too much. He was, he did change, but uh, not, not that much. He had his nose done, and that really changed, because that's the center of your face, and that'll change your looks. Don't treat me like a criminal, because I am innocent. For Catherine Jackson, the greatest challenges have been the persistent claims of child molestation. Justice for Michael! Two boys made allegations against Jackson. In one case, a jury found him not guilty. And the other did not proceed after payment was accepted from Jackson. How did that impact the family? It was hard on me because I knew all the time Michael didn't do it. You had no doubt? I had no doubt. I knew he didn't do it. Did you ever ask him? I didn't have to. We talked about it all the time. We talked about things. Both families lied. Do you wish that Michael had not paid? I wish he had, and I got a, and I told him. As a mother, that makes you angry, doesn't it? Yes, it does make me angry, because he looked guilty. But the allegations keep coming. Australian Wade Robson a former friend and one-time defender of Jackson is now claiming he too was molested. 
from seven years old, from day one of the abuse, Michael told me that we loved each other and that this was love, that this was a, an expression of our love. And then you'd follow that up with, you know, but if you ever tell anyone what we're doing, both of our lives and our careers will be over. How do you feel about Wade Robson then? Wade He's Robson is lying through his teeth and he know it. And anybody can say it that know it, know Michael. Wade knows better. Wade just wants money. He knows better. He's from Australia, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah, he knows he's lying. For his mother, there's been little relief from the devastation of losing her son. A loss also felt very deeply by Michael's daughter, Paris. And I just wanted to say I love him so much. It is reported that she tried to commit suicide. Is that true? Then she might have. She didn't know how, maybe. I don't know. But yes, it is. But when, when uh, Michael died, Paris was screaming and crying and saying, she, well, I want to go with you, Daddy. I don't want to live without you and all these things. And I was feeling so bad for her. Paris clearly has suffered very badly. She did. She had to have his pictures everywhere in her room. Every picture that was hanging on the wall had to be Michael. And then finally she went to a life coach and they told her, take the pictures down. Because I guess she was suffering and we didn't know it. And she did. Paris is still seeking treatment and has been reunited with her biological mother, Debbie Rowe. Debbie Rowe? Still friends with her. Still talk to her. She comes to visit. And fine. She's a, a, a major presence now, I think, at least in Paris's life. Is that right? Yes. And, and you're happy with that? Yes. Yes. In the Jackson family compound, Michael Jackson's childlike touches are everywhere. A shop that used to sell lollies and flowers. Whimsical quotes. And Michael's room, papered in pictures from his childhood, school days and career. It feels, it feels a little bit like Neverland. Is, was this the beginning of his thoughts of how to build Neverland? Probably so, I don't know. There was a studio over there. Yes. Which, and now what did he perform in there? Uh, he did uh, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. I think he did Billie Jean in there, wrote Billie Jean. Oh, wow. For Catherine Jackson, this is a sanctuary, a place of calm amidst the chaos, where she can pause and remember the son she loved so dearly. Are there still questions you need answered? There will always be questions hanging in the air that uh, I would like to answer to, but I probably won't get it. But. Life goes on, but it's never going to be the same. And without my son, it's like having a ring and one diamond missing. And you never can replace it. And like her son, Catherine Jackson is dedicated to raising money for charity. Last week, a Michael Jackson tribute concert was held in their hometown of Gary, Indiana, where money was raised for local charities. You'll find more information on our website.